Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about the five different types of suspenders and how to buy them, what you want to look for. Because if you're out there and you're in the market for suspenders, what you don't want to do is spend money on something that you're not going to wear that isn't going to fit your needs. So today, I'm going to give you a quick overview. This video is in support of my article in which I go into a lot more detail. In addition, we've got an infographic that not only shows you the five types, we talk about all the different attachment styles, we give you the different measurements, things you want to look for, the different materials. So go check out the infographic. I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, if you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe, all that other fun stuff. Guys, the reason I ask you to do this is more men find these videos. When you like us, when you comment, when you help us make this channel better. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's dive into it. So, type number one of suspender, business dress suspenders. This is where most suspenders originated. It was used and it used to be that all dress slacks, dress trousers, suits, suspenders were normal undergarments. This was the way that you held up your pants. Belts introduced and became much more popular. I mean, they had been around for a long time, but they became much more popular after World War II. What we saw during the wars, and both of them affected this a bit, but we saw shortages of clothing. So, in a sense, manufacturers had to figure out ways, how can we save money? So, they actually shortened down and they took a, basically, if you look at jeans, the way they originally were made and then how they evolved, the manufacturers looked at jeans and said, okay, people like a lower rise, we'll just simply put the belt there, we'll make it work. So, in many ways, it were those shortages which led to the downfall of suspenders. However, they still exist and they're still very popular because they're practical, they're useful. And in menswear, if you've got a little bit bigger of a stomach, if you are a businessman and you're wearing suits and you want something that's actually more comfortable than a restrictive belt that actually is applying tension on your midsection and you would rather distribute the weight up over around here and look a little bit more fashionable, I would highly recommend you look at business dress suspenders. So, business dress suspenders are using the classic Y shape. In addition, you're going to find that they're about one to one and a half inches wide, uh, which is which is perfect. Uh, you're going to see if you see anything thinner, that's going to be more fashionable suspenders. I'll talk about those in a second. Also, buttons or clips. Clips for usually the lower cost or people that don't wear them all the time and don't want to get their trousers adjusted. Buttons for men that have basically trousers specially made to go with the suspenders. Usually, these trousers are going to be a little bit higher and they're going to have buttons sewn into the inside. If you don't maybe have your custom, you don't have custom trousers or you want to adjust the, your current trousers, you can go to a tailor or you can do it yourself and we've got an entire infographic on how to sew in a button, but you can sew buttons into your trousers and you can make these work. In addition, you're going to see them made from leather, silk, elastic material, but those are business suspenders. Now, let's talk about fashionably casual suspenders. This is going to be something where you're going to see a wide variety of fabrics. So, you're going to see elastic, mostly synthetic. They're going to be oftentimes a little bit lower priced than the uh, their their business uh, cousins. But what you're going to see about the fashion ones, they're going to use brighter colors. They're going to uh, sometimes get a little bit thinner too. You can see them about almost sometimes even just half an inch wide up to about an inch and a half. Um, the co connections mostly are going to be clips. And the reason being is the men wearing these are usually wearing them because they're going to be going out dancing or they want to wear it as a fashionable item to attach to clothing they already have. However, you will see occasionally higher end suspender companies selling them and you can tell usually they're going to use the button if it's a little bit nicer of a pair of suspenders. So, that's one way to kind of tell the quality difference. Usually, higher quality, not in the case of work suspenders, but in the case of business or fashionably casual or black tie suspenders, you're going to see it's the attachment with the button that's going to be a mark of quality. So, that leads me to the third type, which is going to be for black tie. Pretty simple here, usually in white or black. These are serving a functional purpose with black tie clothing. Usually, you are going to see, if, especially if it's custom made, you're going to see the trousers are going to be a bit higher. Um, they're going to see about an inch to an inch and a half in width. They're going to oftentimes be made, especially the higher quality ones, from silk. Uh, you'll also see elastic, sometimes uh, you know uh, gross grain, and a few other materials that they're being made from. But these are going to be the simplest. They're often going to be adjustable and. Uh, 
they are not always required with black tie. If you rent a tux, if you rent your uh, your black tie, you may find that there's a belt there. Don't fe it's not a prerequisite. You don't have to go out there and get suspenders. But if you get a custom black tie outfit put together, consider suspenders and having it made the more classical way. So number four, work suspenders. Not a, you know this isn't really talked about in the menswear sphere much, but I think work suspenders are incredibly smart because to go out there and to buy a good work belt can cost quite a bit of money. So one way to get around that and I think Duluth Trading Company, they've got some great suspenders like this that actually fit in and around your current belt and allow you to strap on certain things to that without it sagging down your pants. So this is the one time that you will, in a sense, you can wear a belt with suspenders and these are going to be a lot wider. So you're going to see them up to about two inches because you're going to be literally carrying weight on this area. So you want to distribute the weight on your shoulders. Oftentimes you're going to see them made from very strong materials. Uh, you will see sometimes cotton because that makes it washable, but you'll also see leather. Uh, you're going to see elastic, not so much. Actually, elastic is going to be pretty rare. And the reason being, again, because you're supporting weight and they don't want to have that, uh, that stretch to them. Uh, Oftentimes, it's going to be, if they're not using a, a strap that goes around the belt, then they'll be using a bite clip. And a bite clip has a tack in it, is actually going to actually fit right in and it's going to hold into the jeans. Uh, you don't want to use a bite clip on leather, it'll leave a permanent mark. Uh, another type that you'll see is a, uh, are buttons occasionally and you can get clip on buttons that would en enable you to button it in there. So uh, so that's something, again, Duluth Trading Company has got some pretty cool stuff. You should go check it out if you're in the market for this type. The last type is the undergarment suspender. So the undergarment suspender is maybe for a man that's wearing a wayabara or he has a little bit of a midsection, he doesn't want to be pulling up his pants. This is a great hidden way of actually using suspenders, keeping your pants up and it goes right underneath your shirt. You're not going to be able to obviously tuck in your shirt with this, but it is a good option for the man that, uh, yeah just simply wants to wear the untucked shirt and doesn't want to be pulling up his pants. So gentlemen, those are the five types. If you want to know more about suspenders, I go into how to wear them in a separate video. I'm going to link to that uh, and I've also got the infographic, the article. And guys, let me know what you think in the comments and if I missed anything. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.